Welcome to another live interview uh, with Reading Magazine. My name is uh, Jason Hug. I'm the editor of Reading Magazine. And today I'm here with uh, Ferdy Vasquez. He is the owner and uh, chief creative guy with, uh, <laughs> was it, uh, FXV Digital Design, right? There you I go. got it all. <laughs> all right. Nice job. And uh, with his awesome tagline, let's create something awesome today. Uh, that's basically what he does uh, every day, right? Every day, yeah. Um, so you do web development, web marketing. Um, what else do you do real quick so I don't everything. miss everything? Okay, everything. Digital marketing, you know, branding. All digital though, right? Yeah, everything's okay. digital, but we, we do print too, man. So before we get into a little bit uh, more of, you know, what you do currently and, and projects and all the fun stuff you do, uh, take me back to where it all began. Um, how did you get into this? Where do you have experience? Um, why are you in the digital space? How long is the interview, man? I mean, we have some time, so <laughs> give so people me, a good story. Back, tell them, to, tell uh, them who you are. My name is Freddie Vasquez. I'm from. Uh, <laughs> He's a better know, voice than I yeah, do. Right. Probably. I was born in. Uh, I was born in Brooklyn. Grew up in Queens. Moved out to the island. Came out here at some point. Uh, nah, man. Uh, high school had a band. That's okay. really where it all stems from. It was like we got to make flyers. We got to do cassette covers. <laughs> cassette covers. Uh, <laughs> CDs, you know, and uh, somebody had to do it. And okay. I was the only, actually, I would think I was the only guy with a computer. And uh, my dad and my mom bought the computer. And there was like, I think MS Publisher was on there, I believe. Hmm. And uh, just made flyers for shows. And one day I realized there was this thing called GeoCities on the on the, the new oh, internet. Oh, right. Yeah, uh -huh. and GeoCities was, know, a, was yeah. a thing. And I was like, you know, guys, we should get up on this uh, internet thing with the band. Hmm. And I had this really long URL because domain names cost like <laughs> yeah, an arm so, and a yeah, leg they, back then. It was like they weren't eight bucks. They weren't really know? accessible either. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's how I started building it. And originally, when that was all going on, I was in the music business, you know. Okay. And of course, Napster came out and that just took a nosedive. So I was like, you know, what am I going to do with my life? I have no idea what's next. And um, I started doing retail jobs. And, uh, you know, me and my wife. You know, we decided we got to get out of here. Just mm -hmm. living check to check on Long Island, New York is hard, mm -hmm. you know, because it's Long Island, New York. And uh, so we moved to Florida. And in Florida, we had these jobs lined up and uh, they fell through about two weeks after we got down there. So oh, wow. it was me, my wife, you know, Adri, our daughter, and, and my other daughter was still in New York. But we were down there and we had a year lease. We had mm -hmm. no jobs and knew not a soul. Hmm. And... You know, my wife took a crappy telemarketing job. She's mm -hmm. like, you know what? I'm going to take this crappy job to keep us afloat. Why don't you try doing this like web thing for real, this design thing, whatever you're doing? Let's do okay. it for real. So she really encouraged you. Yeah, to, she was okay. like, you know, and she held it down, man. Like I give her props mm -hmm. all the time. Like she held it down while I tried to figure out what this thing was mm -hmm. going to be. And uh, what we did at that time, we took advantage of MySpace. MySpace was a oh, okay. really big thing with. I think with, I've heard of it. Yeah, <laughs> with artists especially. You know, mm -hmm. with the, yeah, right, right. Like artists were all like they were literally foregoing the website for a while and just rocking MySpace because social media. I think that was still like in the infancy of what we know it today. Well, because even websites were um, were more pages and mm -hmm. were more difficult to put together. Like they yeah. weren't. Yeah, it, they weren't it wasn't easy. all the graphics. It wasn't mm -hmm. all the photos. It was basically just words and right. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a lot. So. And MySpace made it easy for you to share the stuff too. Like right. we were all in this community, and we were like, "You got to listen to this band and this band." And and it's mostly set up for musicians and it was. music. And too, that, right? that's really that's what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. It was just like a place for music and. Uh, um, we started doing band profiles and my wife would actually contact bands and go, Hey, and when you say profiles define that, cause I think there's, there's a different definition of a profile now for oh, Facebook yeah. and the rest of yeah, that yeah. and Instagram rather than what it was on MySpace. Well, on MySpace, it was <clears throat> called a profile, but it was, it's, you could say it was like a Facebook page, mm -hmm. but customizable, right? It wasn't like just a standard, you know, layout, like you could get in there and mess with all the code and make it look really, really good. And that's what we, you know, almost perfected back okay. then is we knew how to do all those crazy profiles. And uh, my wife would actually just contact all these bands and say, hey, man, like, let us do your profile. And it got to a point where she was doing, uh, she was getting in contact with really big bands. You know, and for me, you know, I'm, I'm into metal and like hardcore. So it was like <laughs> bands like Earth Crisis and Black Dahlia Murder. But then she got through the Five Finger Death Punch. 
<laughs> and that was a big deal. You know, she was like, hey, man, we'll do it for free. Mm-hmm. Just let us get some props, you know. And they were like, uh, the, the guitarist, I think it's uh, Zoltan, they were like, he was like, go for it. And we did it. And we oh, put cool. our logo on it. And when that came out, that was it. It mm-hmm. was like, I want you to make us a profile, you know, like the one you did for Five Finger. Like, we want you to make us one. And that's what happened. And because of that one profile, really, then people saw that we did the other bands. Mm-hmm. And then it was just boom. And I was literally just, you know, making this business grow on MySpace profiles. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that was just, that was the beginning. Wow. You know? Yeah, it was my, so MySpace. <laughs> I cut, I tell everybody, I cut my teeth on MySpace. And from there. So it's really, it's not any different than people today who would say, you know, like, oh, I, you know, like, like YouTubers or other people that, that really just kind of, they didn't really know where they were starting, but they kind of, they just kept doing what they were doing and kind yeah. of moved up a little bit. Uh, I think that's kind of important to kind of note because I think a lot of times today with YouTube and other types of creative outlets, uh, it's really easy for people to say, well, this is only now, like this didn't happen before, mm-hmm. but really you're, you're, that's what basically happened to you though. You were using that same method. Uh, just mm-hmm. in an earlier time. <laughs> yeah, and I just took advantage of it. Mm-hmm. At the time. But And I knew um, things would change. Yeah. And that's when you have to, like any other business, you have to change with the times. Like, mm-hmm. if you stay stagnant in what you're doing. Yeah, I was going to say, you're not staying with MySpace no, still, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, what's funny is we did Facebook for a while. Facebook allowed customization for a little while there in the beginning. Okay. I was actually able to create custom pages. There you go. The lights want to do it again? Want, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Did I hit it? I was going to stay uh, Maybe, yeah. I okay. Don't know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, you know, Facebook was the same thing. And then mm-hmm. Facebook figured out that, in my opinion, Facebook fi- <laughs> Facebook figured out that uh, MySpace was dying due to all the crap on it, the spam and the, there the was viruses lot, and, like, whatever the hell. I had a MySpace uh, profile really early on, but, like, that's uh, – I was, I was actually in the very beginning of Facebook when that happened, mm-hmm. so – um, and I was in high school too, uh, so I was one of the earliest ones to kind of get on when they opened it up to more, you know, schools and things. Yeah, like it wasn't that. colleges but, anymore. Right, right. Um, but I mean, I had a MySpace, but it was very, very cluttered. Yeah, <laughs> from what I, think, I remember, I think Facebook yeah. knew better, mm-hmm. and I think that's why you know, I think that's why Facebook is still strong. Is yeah, because they yeah, it's it a very times. clean design. They're it's, not letting you know, people. Yeah, when things happen, they're like, no, nope, we got to do this. Nope, we got to do that. We got to fix this. And mm-hmm. so yeah, you know, moved on to Facebook, and then. Uh, you know, just talking to people, they would—they literally gave me the idea. They were like, "Hey, man, do you do like websites?" And I was like, "Yeah," hmm. because you never say no. You just say <laughs> yeah, and then you just figure it out afterwards. Yeah. And so we started doing websites, and then we—what we really realized is when you work with clients, you, you build a relationship. It's just—it's mm-hmm. almost inevitable. But I like to get really—I don't know—I like to get close to my clients. Like I just—I like to hang out with them essentially and talk to them for hours and I've done it I mean I have clients to this day I actually talked to a client yesterday that started out as a MySpace client oh wow I am still talking to this guy um, to this day what's funny is I did their profile when I was in Florida mm-hmm. but they were based in Pennsylvania oh, okay. and then when I moved up here I realized oh I'm only like 40 minutes away from the guy oh and that's when I finally met him because mm-hmm. I went to his uh, his place in Pottstown uh, but he used to be in a band and then he opened up his own restaurant, and now he has a restaurant and brewery. Oh, okay. And so, but you just build those relationships, and, mm-hmm. and people like to work with people they get along with. I mean, that's like, right, right. I think that's the basis for why it's more I than just exist. sales. It's more than, I mean, we'll get into marketing right. a little in a minute, but it's more than just that relationship of, hey, I'm here to sell you something, you need it, and that's it. Yeah, no, yeah. man, I don't do that. Like, mm-hmm. I, that's not even like, Look, you're only on here for a short amount of time, man. In the grand scheme of things. Yeah, the like, show is going to end soon. Yeah, that's no. true. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> you try to have fun, you know? So it's, I don't, I, when I started, when my business started to do its thing and thrive, I didn't mm-hmm. want to be bored. I didn't want to be put in a situation where I was going to hate it. I love all my clients. I can, I can say that and not feel like I'm lying. Mm-hmm. So... Because I like having relationships, man. I love doing that. My wife is like, you know, she can't stand it when we're walking in public. She's like, who don't you know? It's like, we can't go anywhere without you talking to somebody. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
but that happens to me too now. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> not all the time. Like it, it's fun. I love it. My wife would be like, "Oh, well, don't you know, like that? I guess they know you." And I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they kind of." Know I mean, you. it's a good thing. I'm not saying. You know, I love like, it. Just... I, I mean, people come up to me all the time, like, "What's up, man?" Yeah, hey, I don't mind up? either. Yeah, no, I dig <laughs> it. So, uh, but based on those, you know, on that, they're like, "Well, what else do you do?" And then I realized, you know what? I need to start expanding just our services in general. Well, is that when you realized that there was um, more uh, that, you know, not not you needed training specifically, but like you needed to know something, you know, you needed to gain more experience yep. than just yep. what you were doing. Because mm-hmm. I know a lot of people who are creatives or, or do or, or, or just go from something where it's one level to another. It's suddenly there's, you know, like for me, it was photography and it was like, OK, well, I'm taking pictures like everyone else does. Mm-hmm. But if I want to get better, there's a whole bunch I need to learn before you you really move yourself to a different level and it doesn't take overnight but no. I know that's that's not an easy thing to kind of say okay I'm gonna take on you know a lot more work to figure that mm-hmm. out yeah no it's 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 rough it's interesting <laughs> uh, you know like I said 1998 I built my first website in 1998 wow. and I was doing flyers and Built stuff with since like what um, front page Okay. Microsoft front page. All right. I, I, went, front page, I left yeah. GeoCities. We went to front page. I learned how to do websites in, in, in that basic, I guess, arena by buying that book, Front Page for Dummies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I literally started on page one. Those one of books were useful. <laughs> yeah, but it, it worked yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went from the beginning to the end. I was like, oh, I kind of get it. And the thing I, I've, I've always learned from people and is it's almost like fake it till you make it. And it actually kind of works in instances where... I built this whole front page website, I remember, mm-hmm. in a night because I was trying to get a gig at a web place. Mm-hmm. And I showed the owner. I was like, hey, man, I built this. He was like, oh, like, you know that you can't have fonts on there like that. They have to be in picture form. I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. I just put that on there because I knew the font was in my computer. And like mm-hmm. I said, but he still hired me. <laughs> and so when he hired me, I was yeah, like, yeah. well, I'm in. You know, and I took that those next two years. They were showing me things and like they realized, okay, this guy knows a little, not a lot. We won't mm-hmm. pay him that much, but that gets your foot in the door. Yeah, and, and that yeah. Was, I mean, in those two years, I shot up to okay. like learning how to code from scratch because like they we left front page after that. I was like, oh well, you put those in front page, but we don't use front page here. We use code, <laughs> and I was like, oh, what's this? So mm-hmm. yeah, man, like you know, that was that was the beginning of the web stuff. But you know, to your point, you know, you have to just learn it. You know, mm-hmm. and I think, I think you just need to. I mean, Google exists, man. Mm-hmm. Like literally, I learned all the other web stuff I wanted to, and Illustrator. Like, I didn't go to school for any of that stuff. Mm-hmm. None of it. Well, I didn't go to school for photography. No, man, <laughs> none of it. You just got to go to Google. <laughs> and, and all of the photos you see on Reading Magazine, well, probably ninety-eight percent of them are my photos. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's just something that you gotta. You know, take the experience, and there is real world experience to be had mm-hmm. too. But you also have to know how you can do it and what the technical aspects behind it are too. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you have to learn all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But when somebody says but you don't something need to you, the formal training either on some no, of that kind of somebody stuff. tells me something, yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, and I go up on Google, what is ba ba ba? Oh, I still oh, do that today. Yeah. Oh, like, dude, I did it like two weeks ago. I was like. I was like, oh my God, how do you put the text around a circle again and illustrate it? I'm like, oh wait, it's, it's a path. You know, but it, my brain forgot that. Mm-hmm. But I Googled it real quick because I was just brain freezing. I was like, path. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. You know, it's whatever. I learned all that stuff, you know, through through Google. And mm-hmm. it's really just because of my, my professor in school. Like I went to school for to how to make albums. Oh, you know, okay. like how to make you know, with two inch tape before like Pro Tools got really big. But my my professor is uh, Luke Delalio, he told me a long time ago. FWI, and he, I was like FWI. He's like, "Yep." At the end of the day, all you gotta do is F with it, and that's it. <laughs> and you'll figure it out. And I was like, "He said the full word, obviously." Oh well, yeah, it's a kids show. I'm trying to keep it clean here, <laughs> but he was like, "That's it, man." You know. And when he said that, I was like, "You know, you're absolutely right. Like, just F with it, man." And like that's, mm-hmm. you know. And now, twenty years later, because I've been doing this for over twenty years now, mm-hmm. it's, you know, it's true. You know, if you have the willpower and and you know, uh, an internet connection. So how, um, yeah, 
saying you've been in doing this kind of stuff for 20 years. How has everything changed uh, from your perspective? I, I, I know everything's <laughs> changed. <laughs> but from your perspective, from uh, how thing, how business is handled now, oh, from what yeah. you do, uh, how, how has things changed from the MySpace and just designing basic websites with front page to now what businesses are, uh, are, are expected to do, you know, what they can do with websites? I mean, I think people don't, I think we were talking about this before. It's like I don't mm-hmm. think people really take it seriously anymore. Okay. I think I think what happens is everybody knows you need a website, right? Or they take it for granted. Is that what you mean? Yeah, maybe take it for granted. But I think they you know what I think it is? I think um the internet and marketing change constantly, right? Like we all know that. Mm-hmm. But I think the way society handles it all is different. Okay. You know, it's almost like Okay, there's a website. I know I need to stay on here and read all the information if I need to learn something about this business. And then your mindset changes to, well, you know, what does the website do to see these people, you know, even know what they're doing to a point where now you're building websites to fit on a small device, a phone, and you're trying to get their attention in two seconds. Yeah. Okay. Or they're gone. Mm -hmm. So now you're not even thinking about information as much as conversion, Mm -hmm. you know, because you're just like. Oh, it's much quicker now. Right. Because it's like. You know, I need your attention in two seconds. Mm-hmm. How am I going to do that? For me, it's like, this is what we do, and here's a video. Because without a, it's like people just don't even want to read half the time anymore. Mm-hmm. They're just, people are just so lazy. Not like, you know, in the grand scheme of everything. <laughs> but like, now you're calling like, everyone lazy. It's like, I want a video. Like, I don't even want to yeah. read, and I don't want to read half the time either. I love videos. Um, so it's like, you know, that's changed. Where, so then I guess your, the answer is attention spans have grown shorter. Well, so the uniqueness um, has to be better. It, it's funny you bring that up. I was thinking that um, there was there's another. Uh, it, it's a photography publication that I that online. You know, they have a website and everything. And it's funny because um, I was thinking of that. Like, oh well, you know, if they just posted everything as videos, that would be great. And and they do now. And there's a lot of they they uh, embed a lot of videos on their website, which is cool. And then the other side of me, one day, I was like, oh, I need to. I want to read this really quickly. And I noticed that they don't really post all of the material in. In the post itself mm. that it's just mostly in the video so then you have to watch the video mm. and then that got me thinking that well that's a problem I don't have time in this mm. case to watch a 10 minute video mm. you know why can't they just put it out in the text real quick because then that would be quicker so even for me it was just kind of like a realization of like oh right there's different levels of quickness that people need to access information that you can't just always post things in the same way sure. for people to get that too yeah that's a great point actually because I was actually uh, explaining social media to my clients mm-hmm. these past few months And I finally just came to this analogy that made total sense to me. Mm -hmm. And it's ice cream. It's ice cream. Okay, right, here we go. (laughs) (laughs) Ice cream. So you walk into, let's say, Sweet Ride in West Reading. Oh, yeah. Because they're amazing. Sweet Ride. And you get takeout now. Yeah, and you can get (laughs) takeout. Um, But you walk in, it's like, they have a ton of flavors, right? Mm -hmm. But let's just go vanilla, chocolate, Graham Slam, butter pecan, you know, mint chocolate chip. You go into that into that place thinking there's a lot of flavors, mm-hmm. right? And and why is that? Because some people like vanilla, some people like chocolate, some people like butter pecan, right? Mm-hmm. So when you're doing social media, you can't just sit there and say, "Well, I only do Facebook because I hate Twitter." And I look at my clients going, "I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what you hate. You're gonna do Twitter." And some of them still don't listen to me, which mm-hmm. I get. I think it's just like, no, I'm not listening to you, man. But I'm like, you know what? Your Facebook's your vanilla. Your Twitter's your chocolate. Your mm-hmm. Instagram's your mint chocolate chip. Like your Snapchat's your butter pecan. Like you have to hit everything. Mm-hmm. So to your point, yeah, you should probably put more stuff in the post. But then it's like, well, how much do you put in the post because there's a video? But then maybe one day you don't even have a video. You just have photos instead. You got to mix it up. Oh, yeah. I mean, on that end, everyone. Yeah. I mean, different platforms have different things, of course. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't need to mix and match um, quite as much as that. But, yeah, I mean, you're right. It's, you know, when you have um, it, people do have their preference mm-hmm. as to what social media platform they like. Um, so that kind of gets into marketing. Um, what kind of things do you do now with businesses um, to get the spread the word about what they do? Oh, we do 
we actually we, we're just like getting to everything now. Okay. And it sounds you know like oh, oh that, you know, what does that mean? It's like you do everything. Well, it's like literally. That's my next question. <laughs> we try to you know I tell people like we have this great new client called Dressed in White, and her name's Amanda, and she just took over London Blue Jewelers' spot. Oh, okay. They just left, so mm-hmm. it's brand new. If you if you go down there, you see the artwork in the window and everything. But she walked into the office and she was like. Hey, I got this idea. I want to open up a bridal suite right here in town. Mm -hmm. And I have two names for the business. What do we do? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. Because she's literally coming in here with like a sketch pad of ideas. So we sit there and we talk to her. And we figured out what name should be agreed upon. Because she had Mm -hmm. two names. We figured out this should be the name, Dressed in White. And then we talked about the logo and the branding. So we start with just the brand and the logo and we, we went through a bunch of revisions but she's happy we're happy and it's perfect so now you have this logo and now you know you have to start like physical marketing materials mm-hmm. and what we did first was like here's what you need for business cards and for okay you know she did her business cards and she did her sweatshirts and caps and and pens and everything else she does she did the logos on the the front of the space like that's all taken care of mm-hmm. now we're building the website because now it's like okay you got the logo you're starting to buzz now we're going to launch a website. And on the website, mm-hmm. it's going to have basic information on what's going on. Hmm. And then once the website is built and ready to be launched, we then take care of all of our social media. So we set up all of our profiles, all of our profile pics, all of our cover photos. Because people like to just go on their social media and just throw up their logo because it automatically fits mm-hmm. in all those spaces, which it does not fit, people. You got to adjust and make it fit correctly. <laughs> so it doesn't and, work and like I guess that. the other thing you just said is that you filled out everything. You got to fill out the whole program. <clears throat> and yeah. it's, it, it all, you know, it's there for a reason. You know, you have all these places that you can put information. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, in my opinion, Google spiders everything. And I've seen <laughs> Facebook stuff come up in search results. I mean, mm-hmm. people can get crazy with what they're looking for. So we do your social media and we fill it all like all, all nice and correctly and all that good stuff. And then we take the website and we do your SEO. We mm-hmm. make sure it's responsive. We and do how security. important is SEO nowadays? Because oh, a lot of people... There goes the light again. I mean, <laughs> what did I do? I'll have to fix that. There you go. <laughs> SEO, is, SEO is... Google's everything. Mm-hmm. You know, Google is everything. SEO is just about everything. But it's still a thing, though. Right? Oh, well, yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> it's it's a huge, huge thing that people just... That's one of the things with websites mm-hmm. is that people think good enough is good enough. Okay. And good enough to me equals fail. And that's it. Mm. Go on Wix. Go ahead. Make the free website. Let me know how that works out. Okay. <laughs> You get, what's your SEO? The boxes, they're like, oh, well, fill out the SEO here. Yeah, you can fill it out. Mm-hmm. Do you know what you're putting in there? Did you know there's a character limit on that? Did you know that Google reads it a certain way? Did you know that the, even like how you separate words on there with certain characters makes a difference? Mm-hmm. You don't know any of these things. This is what we're here for. We're here to take your website and your business to a whole other level. Hmm. But that's the thing is like, SEO is huge, and there's so many things that affect your SEO. It's not even just the website. Okay. It's like, is the website secure? Is it responsive? Does it load fast? All those good things, sure. That's mm-hmm. like things that we can take care of out of the gate and even get your SEO in there. Right. But then you start going, well, how often does it get updated? And that's where blogs come in. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. where you start doing all that, and you have to have the focus keyword. And you know all these things, obviously. You oh. know, you're rocking it yourself. <laughs> you know, I know this. You're, you're telling them, so. right? Well, yeah. Listen <laughs> I to mean, me. there's a lot of people who, right. you know, yeah, like, but they well, don't, no. they don't, they don't think about those things. And mm-hmm. then it starts going outside of that, where it's like, well, is your, you know, is your business listing correct? How are your reviews doing? You know, do you have mm-hmm. a bunch of backlinks happening? Mm-hmm. You know, and that's where the Facebook thing comes into play because now Google's pulling in Facebook reviews, and Facebook posts and stuff come up in search results. So I don't know if there's any other professionals out there that think I'm crazy, but. I think all that stuff makes a difference too, like mm-hmm. uh, spidering all those things, and all these things work together to build your profile on mm-hmm. Google. Let's say your presence, and that's what ranks you. Um, and those are the things that you don't learn about mm-hmm. by doing free websites or going with the cheaper guy. It's just like it frustrates the hell out of me. It really does because people will allow price to dictate what they're doing online. Mm. But I'll spend. Four hundred dollars on a pair of kicks. Nobody's gonna look at. While I'm in a business meeting, and it's like, think about it. When you get up in the morning, 
take a shower, you comb your hair, you got your, your clothes are all pressed and looking great, you got the nice shoes, the nice pants, you smell nice, the whole thing, because you know you're gonna meet your clients and you're gonna talk to them or your potential customers and try to sell them on what you're you know, putting down, mm -hmm. right? But when you're done <clears throat> talking to those people face to face, who do you think's talking for you? Mm -hmm. It's your website, man, and people will totally just be like, well, Wix is good enough, mm -hmm. or this guy's cheaper, he's good enough. No, man. Good enough is failure. If you want to exist, if you want to be very successful in what you're doing, you have to be unique. If you don't want to be unique, I mean, fine, I can't help you with that. Mm -hmm. But you really need to sit down and think to yourself, how do I want to represent myself when I'm not in front of these people's faces? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm confident in everything I put out. Every lick of work I put out, I'm confident in because I can't be up 24 hours a day talking to people. So for a lot of people, that might sound like a lot. If if, if you're a small business owner out there uh, right now and you're kind of saying, okay, what that, that was a lot of information. Mm -hmm. They're not web developers, you know, that kind of thing. They're just looking for maybe a few different tips on the ways that they can put themselves out there and and build themselves a better digital brand mm -hmm. on Google and the rest of that what uh what the, what's the simplified version that someone could do on themselves to kind of kickstart that for then eventually getting to someone mm -hmm. like you down the road I would say <clears throat> man what's the easiest way to do all this <laughs> Um, well, what's the stepping stone from someone going, um, doing things by themselves to then someone saying, I need a more professional help with it? Um, what? How does that look like? You know, because obviously people are going to, they're going to be doing these things on sure, their own. Sure. Um, everyone wants to find, you know, a, the cheapest solution, but also something they can do themselves. Um, but then, of course, there is that point where you know, it's going to be too much for them. They have to do other things and they need to hire a professional, which they should, um, or at least consider it and kind of run through mm -hmm. the options. Uh, but what, what kind of things can start them out on the, the right path, so to speak, to get to someone where you are that that's going to help them out versus, uh, you know, having you start from scratch for them mm -hmm. or anything else? What, what can they be doing? I think what I would say is, um, honestly, in my, my opinion, blogging. Okay. Blogging. That's what I think. I think you build your website. If you, you know, if you have to use the Wix and and all that stuff, go for it. I mean, you know, I know I, I sit there and say it's probably not the best idea, but I get it. Everybody starts somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's possible, man. Like, do the Wix thing. Um, do a quick Google search and SEO. Get like just basic knowledge of like what you're trying to sell. So like, if you're trying to sell, you know, car parts, make sure those kind of things are in your SEO. And you'll know what that is, because if you're in Wix, you'll see all that stuff listed underneath all the content you're trying to put in. Okay. So just fill it out correctly, it's there. Um, and then social media, okay? So anything you put on that website, you should be blowing out on social media. Mm -hmm. And all channels, all of it. I would do that constantly. I think the number one thing that people were afraid of back in the day was um, putting out too much information. You know, okay. they're like, oh, I don't want to bother people. Nah, man, you're not bothering anybody anymore. Because I, I tell everybody, I'm like, listen, there's so much going on social media, number oh, yeah. one. Okay, Number two, do you really think all of your followers are on at the exact same time waiting for you to put your stuff out? They're not. So if, they don't, if they're not on within, what, five minutes of you posting something, they probably won't see it unless they have you as a favorite or all, the, all mm -hmm. that good stuff. So constantly putting out stuff out on social media, Constantly updating your website and just make sure, you know, actually, here's a tip. Get a piece of paper. Write down what your focus keywords are. Okay, like what are your top four or five keywords that are going, that you want your business to come up for in Google? Take those keywords and constantly put them around your site. Um, don't like overload it, but like, you know what? Let's say I'm a, I'm a car dealership and I want to sell, you know, Ram 1500s. I'm going to write an article about the Ram 1500. Okay. And then the next day I want to sell Jeeps. I'm going to write an article about Jeeps. And in there is going to say Jeep all these different times. Mm -hmm. And the other one's going to say Ram 1500s. And when you put these things out and you put it out into social media, eventually Google will see all this and spider it. And they're going to start, you know, ranking you for those specific keywords that you're doing on your website. So build a website for free. Check out the SEO. Do a quick Google search in that. Share the crap out of it on social media. Oh, and also bother your friends and family to like this stuff and share it. Ask. 
everybody thinks like when they put stuff out on social media, people are going to share it. Mm-hmm. They're not going to share it, man. No. But when you ask, <laughs> see what happens. Please share. Please comment. <clears throat> Things happen. You have to ask for everything nowadays. So I would take those things and start. I was going to say, I I would also imagine quality of content is very important to that, too. I mean, of course. But this is like bare bones. How to get started. You know, this is bare bones. You know, you (laughs) want to get to those crazy conversations. See, now you're like, quality of content. Okay. Well, Well, what I meant was I would imagine that, you know, just writing out, you know, random blog posts every day, probably that, yes, it's it's probably into what you do, but Mm. you want to make it a little bit more into your business as well. Sure. Of course. I mean, yeah. You know, you're absolutely right. Yeah. You can't give them the secret sauce, bro. You know, I guess they would love Oh, that's really secret. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you're absolutely right. That was a bare bones answer. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, of yeah. course. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, when you start thinking about, like, if I was going to talk about the Ram 1500, it probably wouldn't just be in general. It would be like the 2020 Ram 1500, some of the features it has in there, and maybe if it's won any awards or any reviews on that so far. Mm-hmm. You know, real things. I was just trying to give people it. a little bit of a kickstart on where they could go with that rather than sure, just, sure. you know, well, I wrote about all my cars in my lot, and now I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah no. Because you're going to get emails about that now. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, email me, please. I'm, I'm, I've gone through all the cars on my lot. What yeah. else am I? <laughs> like, really? You went through every car in that lot? I don't think you have time to do that, but I don't uh, believe you. So, um, kind of wrapping things up, but one more question: Where do you think the future is going with all of this? As someone who's been in it for twenty years, you're kind of you've seen the trends, you've seen kind of where things are going. What what does the future look like? Bones, 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 bones. bones. I mean, I As have clients phone calling people. No, or? like traffic. Like for me, marketing is all based on this. It's on the phone. Um, I'll build websites and they look amazing on a desktop mm-hmm. or even an iPad. It's not even going to matter soon. It's going to be okay. all about your phone. So what does that tell you? That means you have even less time to find people, uh, uh, to convert people. Mm. You have to make sure your main idea for me is within three swipes. Like if you get okay. three, uh, for me, it's like, okay, this is what you do. But, but think about that. Think about how many times you swipe before you're like, I'm, I'm bored. Mm. Cause it's, it's that short. Wow. This is not. Malarkey, okay. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, uh, it's it's like, you know, it's like it's it's just that's people's attention lot. spans. No, that's, it's not. Yeah. But think about it, man. Yeah, no, I I, I did. And, 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 and I'm not a lot. Yeah, and I'm not talking about like something you really, really, really want. Like if you really are re- researching something, you'll sit there and look at the whole thing. I, I get it. Right, right, right. But we're talking about like, you know, my air conditioner blew out. You know, and then it's like, oh, look at this guy. Let me click his website real quick. Boom. It should be like 24 seven service call now. That should mm-hmm. be the first thing you say, like 24-7 service call now. Boom. And then they might swipe after that. Or they better press that button, that little phone call thing. Want to call now? Okay. And that's wow. what happens. That's, that's you know, and every industry is different. But in that instance, like, it's almost like the website, it's almost, it doesn't. Don't take my word for this. It's almost like nothing else matters on there. Okay. But it comes up on my phone. There's a big red button that says 24-7 emergency service. Like, just click it and you click it and the, the phone starts to ring and you're talking to those people mm-hmm. like that's where it's all so it's, going. it's more the immediate response of and like how immediate quickly, conversions okay. and like you know basically how quickly can you get the answer for the issue that you have right, right? Okay. yeah you, you find that that's what I, so i think everything is going to be on phones you have to change all your marketing so people just go ahead and just convert right away and mm-hmm. i'm not saying it's not happening now but i just think that it's getting even much worse though. like yeah. to, to the point where this is a great article or a great interview it was Tom Segura is a comedian and they do Netflix specials mm-hmm. and he was like yeah it's terrible now how like everything's gonna be video that's another thing everything's gonna be video but he's like you know I spent eight months doing a Netflix special I put it out and right when people are done watching it the first question out of their mouths is so when's the next one yeah and I'm like I just spent eight <laughs> months doing this one yeah, yeah he's like yeah. yeah because people are so used to qu- to content coming out right. hourly yeah so yeah. that's where it's, it's a going. challenge. I've even yeah, I for what I do. Imagine what you're going through, man. I'm like, I'm like, wow, this is really cool. Reading magazine, Burke's Weekly. I'm like, this guy's on crack. He, and I'm like, that's the first thing I think of. The second thing I think of is how the hell do you get to all these places? Yeah. Like I'm like, I this have clones. Guy, yeah. I was like, this guy's here. He's over there. I didn't even know this was happening. And this is he's there. Like. How do you it, do all that? It's, it's a lot of work. I <laughs> bet it is. It's not, yeah. And, and you're still married, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, That's a good woman, uh, right? 
Uh, it's it's also it's a lot of running around. I mm. mean, it's it's just a lot of work. I mean, especially mm. now the past few days, it's like uh, even like I wasn't home until like 10 p.m. last night, and then I still had to get on my laptop and do a lot of work. So is that yeah. cake back there, bro? Yeah, the cake. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I give you a lot of props for that. I, I know. I mean, but again, it's all like love, to though. get out, like like what you said, this the whole time is that if you really want to get stuff out there, you got to do it. Do There's it. no other way to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not going to be sitting back and watching Netflix and having something else happen, no. right? I mean, you got to do it yourself. It's not rocket science. Yeah, it's really not. Yeah, it's hard work, perseverance, and you got to let's create let's something, create something awesome, awesome today. today. I mean, that's yeah. all it is: hard work, perseverance. Now you have that on your wall too, in your it's office. It's on my right? wall. It's on my T-shirts. On my glasses. On my pens. On my stickers. On a T-shirt. That I gave him a T-shirt. Yeah, it's over, over there. there. <laughs> so it's everywhere because it's that's wow. branding. You know, branding is is huge. You know, branding. I want my face with the glasses everywhere. That's people right. People love it. I have one of your yeah. um, your mugs too. Yeah, people yeah. love it. I just and why you know and you can do that too as the you know, oh yeah anybody yeah. can do it. I came up with that thing one day sitting in an office. I was like, let's create something awesome today because you should because everything's awesome. You know, like you want to make everything awesome, and you, and why wouldn't you want to wear this? People and I went to Florida on vacation with my wife last year, mm-hmm. and I wore the shirt, and people were just like, "That's a cool shirt," like that's a cool shirt. Wow, that's awesome. Hmm. To a point where I was like, "Man, maybe I should have been like, do you want one?" And like here, like email me or something, you know, from Florida, because why not? And uh, it's great to be able to brand yourself. So now you're gonna set up a, an online store, right? And still, yeah, no, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> But it's just, it's cool to brand yourself, but yeah, also yeah. make people chipper. Mm-hmm. You know, like like my buddy's Core Health Chiropractic. Shout out, Core Health. It's a great day for a great day. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a great day for a great day every day. You know, but you walk in there and you know it's a great day. Well, and giving people a way to support you. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just awesome, man. Spread the love, dude. You, you gotta, we need more of that. We got to yeah. do a love show. A love show. Like how to spread the love, You baby. can do the love show. How about like, that? You, yeah, Freddie Vasquez here, spreading the love, baby. <laughs> We're going to talk about it 24-7 right here, right here. Reading live, baby. All right, this is great. Thanks right, for coming in. Thanks this for is letting awesome. me come hang yeah. out, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm privileged. I feel privileged to be here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Man, right on. All right. Uh, thanks for watching the uh, another Reading Magazine live interview. Uh, my name is Jason Hug, uh, the editor of Reading Magazine, and that just. Put your hand on the thing. All right, there we go. <laughs> and we're here with Freddie, uh, v, uh, uh, FXV Digital Design. There you go. <laughs> I know. It's Good all job. over Good like job. everything. But um, anyway, um, so if you want to support Reading Magazine, uh, please go to uh, rdgmag.com slash membership. Uh, membership is only five bucks a month. It helps support what I do, what we do here at Reading Magazine and in Burke's Weekly. Um, so it's really cool if you want to do that. Uh, there's a lot of bonuses and a lot of extras. And uh, where can they follow you? FXVDigital.com is the website. On there's all the social media. All the social media is forward slash FXVDigital. Just do it. I'm there. Look for my head and my face. And I'm a member of RDG. Five bucks. I was like one of the first ones, I believe. Yeah, cool. Yeah, five bucks. You don't even know I'm a member? No, I know. All right, right on. There, we have a thank you wall. I was going to say, I was like, I was like, did he not know? No, I, yeah, man, five bucks, man. It gets all this great so content. Know. <laughs> yeah, man, five bucks. Be, how much do you spend? F- uh, let's not get into that. <laughs> five bucks. It's good. I didn't want to like talk down on anything. But five bucks, great content, local content, legit content. If you and it keeps this, our websites free. All yeah, free. it's free, man. Free local news, free local content. It's awesome That's stuff. the point. And it comes from a good source. If you look in here, you could see all the Reading artifacts and stuff in here. Um, it's from a good source, man. Like, you cool. do a great job, bro. Thank you. So you're the guy because I don't see anybody else taking over. So keep it up. Thanks. Right on. All right. That's about it. Thank you for watching. Later. <laughs>